Hey, we're back for a second round of BTS. This is actually the first one. That's wrong. All right, there we go. That's what I thought. Okay. Hey, we're here to go over the second uh, weekend of shooting of Southern Bliss. This is Sophie's directed film. Let's get started. Are you rolling? Okay, what we're looking at right now is we're shooting inside the car and we are pretending that the car is actually driving. You can see me there. I'm pushing on the car up and down to simulate the movement. Grant is there moving a tree branch back and forth uh, to generate shadow like the car is moving. And just a simple movement of the car is not actually driving, but we do Cut. want in the frame for it to it's simulate it. as if there's actual car moving. Now there's a lot of sun in here. Do we want to flag this? You see, we're just at the parking lot of Gav here. The characters are in there, and we're we're shooting and simulating what it would look like for both people to be in the car as the car is moving. We had this very cool, classic car, um, Cadillac, um, in the shot, and we took advantage of it. Hollywood it? Or, or yeah. yeah. Can you put that side? Alright, there's Geronimo. Geronimo. And Grant, they're holding, um, they created a, a blocker so that it's not so harsh. As you can see, this is they're improvising and using basically um, what is it called? It's one of those thing. It's from Grant's car that you put in the windshield to block the sunlight to keep the car from being hot, but also the sun from ruining your dashboard dashboard protector. Um, you can see the map box on the red right there. The map box helps. Uh, allowed to put in an ND filter in front of the lens as well as a sunshade right there. A French flag is what it's called on uh, top. And and you can also see that Jonathan there is holding the uh, holding a light, shooting some light into her face. So even though we're shading the sunlight, we're still bouncing some light into her face to create a nice good look. Get one. You're a film major, right, Mateo? Yeah, I've got one for you in my truck. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you want you want movement on this too, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait for her. Like that. Shot. This is like you know the epic rock music playing. Like you're just living your best. You can hear the wind. So windy out there. But this is MOS, so we are not collecting and, uh, audio. Yeah. Yeah. Just give us a nice frame. You're closing this movie out. Huh? Yep. I'd like, I like you can see our actor there. Uh, performing and me talking to Mateo's dad, who is the owner of the Cadillac. Just some cool car shots. We shot some drone at this site. This is just right in front of the the uh, soccer fields. Um, all right, and now you can see we have changed locations back to Jason's house, and we are going to talk a little bit about gun safety on the on the shoot. As you can see, we have there a shotgun. Uh, this is a uh, any any of these uh, sets uh, will let you know. Especially, it's been in the news with the the um, unfortunate incident that happened with. Uh, the uh, Western with Alec Baldwin and the crew member being killed on set. Um, you have to always consider, even 
happen with prop guns, that prop guns are uh, live. And famously, if you've ever heard of the movie The Crow or Brandon uh, Lee, uh, that was a that was a gun that was shooting blanks that went off and accidentally killed the actor. So anytime there is a prop gun on set, we're going to treat it with like, it's a live gun, we're going to properly handle it. So there is extreme, extreme caution that we take, especially even if it's a fake gun, um, you need to be concerned where you're having it out. You want to make sure that you're properly handling it. We're in a lo uh, remote location, but the cops could come up at any time and see someone holding a, a shotgun, uh, especially a, a film crew is going to for sure garner attention more so than anything else. You can see later in the day sun's starting to set so the shadows are getting darker Sorry. on your face before you say your line. I'm sure that's what you're oh, going to say. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um. So you can okay. see something like that with a camera uh, movement like that, they really need to... Uh, okay. Oh, right here? Yeah. Yep. And Giving some direction okay. just for cam okay. just for camera, so you know. I want to get a clean shot of her Performing. squared up. Okay. And she stands there and then it tilts up. Okay. You know, so there's time. Alright. Okay. Right. okay. So almost there, but is this the one I'm looking at her or I'm just looking out? Let's do looking out. So you can see that the actors really need this direction to understand. With the camera movements, with all the stylized stuff, there's always, these are great questions to, for your actor to ask and the director to give because, you know, our actors aren't looking Shot at the three, cameras like we are. Always keep that in mind, especially when you have a movement. As you can right. see, if you watch the red, Jason's going to tilt up. Interesting. Let's see what happens. I think it's almost there. Power, power. Okay. This is badass. This is, you know, this okay. is your moment. All right. So right. now, not only their timing's right on We're the movement and everything, everything, but now, so now <laughs> Sophie's giving a, a performance direction. So it's one of those things you dial it in. That's why we're taking multiple, multiple takes. <laughs> Get some funny faces. So. Camera's ready. Speed. Shot 23-3, take three. Set. We're going to get everything back. I like, I like takes like this in the behind the scenes. It really get it lets you, oh, a kitty. All right, live action animal on the set. Ooh, animal on the set as the, as the takes are happening. You can see Halloween decorations in full effect.
we're going to get everything back. Ooh, that was way more intense. Good performance. Cut! Look, the sound operator liked it. Happy with that one? That was awesome. That was awesome. That was yep. Incredible. I that agree, was too. Great. Thank you. Happy that director. Awesome. Now we have to make sure okay. everything else went great. Moving on? Yeah, yeah. Um, now it's all backyard. Then, uh, Moving on, of course, yeah. means yeah. we're done yeah. here. I said I had four, her. Yeah, we're just out. No, 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 leave it on battery as long as until we're at the last second. Um, pull the XLR cable out. We're going to roll it before we head out there. We don't want to drag it. Um, Moving everything, right? Grant's talking so about the Zoom the audio cable. recorder. It, it can definitely run off of batteries, but we want it connected to AC as much as possible. Never turn it off. I mean, I've made that mistake, but uh, if you turn off your Zoom recorder in the middle of uh, uh, of a move, uh, you're just going to have to re-jam it, re-sync it to everything. So it's a hassle. If you can keep it on, keep it on the whole time. You heard Grant say the word jib. We're going to set up a jib, which is basically a long arm. That we're going to put the camera on and allow it's us to give a uh, upward momentum or upward mobility movement of camera. The jib is basically a small crane. A crane is a much longer jib. A jib, I think our jib is about 15 feet long, maybe 20 feet long. And that really can accomplish a, a, a nice large range of movement, which uh, really uh, just get, allows us to get a really interesting shot. So they're going to put the jib together. We're going to see that. I'll get some behind the scenes of our director giving our actors. You can see that we're cold. The wind's out there. So always good to... See, look, Grant just took the head of the tripod off of the tripod. This is a, a much stronger tripod legs, which will allow him to put the the weight of the jib. The jib, again, is a really long arm. Moving to the backyard, you can see all the cars, the amount of people who are here at these shoots. Jason, our DP. But alright, we're getting a look of what the jib looks like and Grant's setting it up. You can see that it's two double bars that attach to the tripod that they're going to weight down. At the end of the jib, you can see a tripod head down at the bottom. Grant just walked in front of it. But essentially, and look, he's got weights. He's, no, he's not going to work out, but it's to help balance. You put it at the end of that jib. And what that allows us to do is give us a fluid movement now. going to give it's going to give a movement it's going to give a small movement using the good camera 
normally we're used to these movements now with, with drones. Um, but, you know, drones are limited as far as you can fly, especially getting close to something on the ground. Now, this so the should be jib is going to yeah. act. Um, you wanna, uh, the jib's going to act as yeah. that type of movement. As you can see, we got our camera on there. We're going to add something else where we are all using uh, multiple people to not only protect the camera, but protect the car. No, 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 I mean the two by two by two. The determining how much weight to kind of give a balance. Is it still camera heavy? I'm not holding it. Yeah, let's put another five. That's heavier. Too much? Okay, um, I, I've got it. Let go. I just want to. No, no. Put that on. Alright, I'm letting go. Okay, so it's it's back heavy. It's too much. Yeah, we'll take this five off. There you go. They balance the jib. You can see taking on and off weight, weight to on. determine uh, uh, what to do. We're so good for now, but we're gonna put um, the map box, which is gonna be very heavy. Yep. So Grant's saying they're adding weight to the camera, which will affect the amount of weight that's needed at the end. The map box, of course, is the box that goes in the front of the lens. Allows them to put uh, ND filters, which are new to neutral density filters. These ND filters act as sunglasses for your lens. Think about what happens when you put sunglasses on your eyes. Um, where you're able to actually make the image darker, which is good in a very bright situation, usually sunlight. Um, as you can see, it slides on. Um, those, those are called rails, those poles. And then the top is called a French flag. The French flag basically blocks light. And you can see Jason right now is going to, he's adjusting the, um, the filter. Watch where his fingers are. He's either going to pull it in or pull it out, or maybe he's just tightening. It's maybe not in the proper position. You can also put in other things on. like gels or colors. Again, the jib is just like basically a big seesaw or arm that we can put the camera on and with weights we can kind of counterbalance it and it'll give us really cool up and down movements that we can control. Now, the big problem with the jib, of yeah. course, is you saw that? You can, oh, yeah. once you, okay. you're limited with your control of your camera because once it gets too high you can't really control the tilt. Um, so you kind of get what the movement you like and do kind of slow movements. You can't, you can't really get super high up without like intending it to be a high shot. Oh, look, right there, that black stuff, if you're unaware of it, it's called gaff tape. It looks like they're gaffing on the map box to, to stop some spill of light. Because uh, it looks like, looking at the light, it looks like they're... they're uh, there's light behind them. Uh, gaff tape is special tape. That it's not. It's it's black, but it's also got a level of uh, grip to it that will it doesn't leave residue. So you can put it on and tear it off pre pretty simply. It's got very strong hold, um, and it's expensive. So I uh, recommend gaff tape in your life. It's about twenty five dollars. Switch it back. Yeah, yeah, it's been fire. So this should be a little heavy. No, I'm not gonna We're gonna test the balance. Oh, they switched it. Okay. Are they ready? Because we're gonna run out of light. We gotta get yeah. this. Yeah, you can look at the angle. Grant's worried about light. Uh, yes, we're kind of at the magic area. You can see no, no, how the light is yeah. angular. Your magic.
magic hour really is an hour. You, your light <laughs> changes, and now that the time change has happened, it even particularly will affect everything. You can see nice and cold October day here. Oh no, who has the shotgun? I gave it to Jason. No, it's fun is the shotgun. Uh, remember on the set, a shotgun could also refer to a microphone. So I believe since he said he, he didn't say shotgun mic, he's referring to the actual prop shotgun. Cool, this is a good behind the scenes. We kind of are getting to see what the camera's seeing. It's just kind of floating there right now. Hopefully, maybe we'll get to see some of the jib movement, but you can see the, the fo we were looking at the follow, not only the monitor, but the follow focus monitor. The, what? Your sweatshirt. No, I the first AC. The scar. I'm not a nerd. I lied. <laughs> I mean, at least you recognize it. You, uh, yes. you're not We're not using the jib. Okay. Oh. I've got your steaks for you. Yeah. Looks like they weren't happy with the shot. So. tripod plate back onto the camera because it had been oh. removed for the other. Uh, a good camera operator of course will have a key to tighten those. I do recommend not using that part of your key because that part of your key is going to get bent. Um, I tend, to, if I'm going to have my keys or a coin, a quarter, uh, or a dime is a great thing to have on a set. I have a Swiss Army knife I almost Ooh, always use, but if I'm going to use the key, I'm going to use the um, the end of the key, not the actual key portion. It tends to bend, and uh, if you bend it, you're not bending the thing that will lock you out of your house or whatever it actually is used for. Everybody's rushing around because they are determining we're running out of light, which we can actually see all that golden light that was shooting this way. Yep. Grant's striking the gym. Striking, of course, means removing or getting rid of, getting, taking it off the set. I need that. I just go, you're are we, are we not shooting in that? What direction are we shooting? I, oh, are we shooting this way? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to move it around. Because it's no, now longer will no, ma not match.
we can just do it right here. Yeah. We don't have much time. We gotta go now yeah. because if we're not filming in 30 seconds, Yep, look, sunset, you can see it right there. There, losing time. See, they're trying to POV of the trunk. They're going to move the whole thing. And they're rushing. This is when it gets really fun. You're going to lose light. Literally, sunset is like a three minute deal. And if you miss it, you miss it for a whole day. Hold up the keys and you. Shooting on location comes with a lot of different things. It, it got loose. So, do you want us to move forward or just stay where we're at? I would stay okay. where you are because if you Ready? come any closer, oh, you're okay. out of frame. So, just so stay. If you, I would pull a thing down, walk to her, then turn. Okay. So face um, and then you can. Uh, okay. In fact, you know what? Just direct them. Yeah. Um, who cares if, if we hear your voice? We'll deal with it later. Yeah. Light is now the, our biggest issue. Yeah. All we need to get is this. Yep. Okay. You can see Grant is pushing. We gotta get this done. All right. Roll, roll audio. Roll camera. Shot. Is he there yet? Shot 24 1, take two. Jonathan, are you? There we go. Okay. Okay, still rolling. You're driving. Okay, reset. He's right here now. So. Yeah, no, it's not. Can you put on edging? Edging. What? Why am I saying that to you? Edging uh, goes still on rolling. the red. It allows rolling. to see okay, focus time, better. Um, right? Working. Audio still rolling. This time, both like look at the car for a sec. Like, wow, this car is awesome. Okay. And then you say you're driving. Right. Hold up the keys. Right. So right. Right. feet. Okay. Okay. Feet, okay. Feet. So, okay. okay. Still rolling. And action.
Playback is they're going to re-watch the take to make sure it's exactly what they wanted. Everything, there wasn't an issue. I'm sure the instinct is like, hey, while we have it, let's shoot one more, but let's see if the director is perfectly happy. Our audio operators are out there. Right, we're breaking there. this all down, right? Yeah. Do so so I strike it? Back in this case and everything. Okay. We're now going to eat and then go to the next location. They're striking the location and moving to the next location. As you can see, we're on what's another day. They got a car salesman there. David Butterfield's playing a used car salesman. And this is a parking lot at Gav. You can see everyone. How much? Movie, movie magic. Drug money. Oh, okay, let's see. Not normally they people hand me wads of a hundred, but <laughs> you can see prop cash that Grant has. He's not actually a big baller like that. Well, I mean he is, but uh, you can see uh, prop cash. <laughs> I do not. It's not junior high. It's. So if I get like, I go to McDonald's and get like two McChickens. Did you hear that? Grant said each one of those costs a dollar. So for motion picture use only. So mm -hmm. I'm not really a drug use. Uh. <laughs> Movie magic, everybody. That stuff is fun. Oh, no. You have the keys. You get in. Jason, your car might get keyed. Not intentionally. <laughs> if I don't catch this. There might be a few takes on that one. <laughs> is this... Can I fold this or no? Yeah, but be careful with it. Because they're each like a dollar. Oh. Yeah, oh. Because <laughs> I got to fold it to put it in my pocket. I'll like lightly fold it. <laughs> oh, just a dollar. Grant's like, yeah, that's six bucks because it's six hundred. But oh yeah, I'm expecting that too. Yeah, I'm doing nothing. So if you like Oh. Okay. Yeah. Her vanilla Coke Zero product placement as yeah. always. And are they both coming from out of frame? Because they're standing in frame now. Yeah. Standing you can see her used uh, car lot is all of four all right. cars, five cars. I think if Grant, you count Grant's. Let's roll audio. Speed. Camera. Speed. One dash drive, take one, mark. Action. She starts out, right? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Start over. Yep. 
Of course, you start recording, you have motorcycles drive by. You can see we're using uh, lav microphones here. See, there's there's the lavalier microphone wire that he's tucking in. I gotta hide that. I think those spinning things up on the top of the the dumpster container thing are always interesting. I know they're like vents in circulation, but like they would look really cool. By the way, let's take this opportunity while we're watching this to say that this week's extra credit, if you messaged me um, uh, through Canvas, you can earn yourself 20 points extra credit if you tell me what exactly a jib is. Please tell me what function a jib does on a film set. All you have to do is message me, Tim, uh, in order to get 20 extra points. Just for watching this and knowing what a jib is. Our prop cigarettes again. Prop, prop cigarettes are tough because they actually do make smoke. They're not full of nicotine per se. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, tough to light or whatever. Um, you need an actor who actually knows how to smoke um, in order to make it look real. And uh, they stink, especially if you use them inside, so. <laughs> oh, he's just checking to make sure the money is uh, all there. All the paperwork's in the glove box. All yours. Cut! Have to get the glasses. Yeah, 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 that's what I was going to say. <laughs> and when you uh, point, point, look over there, too. Look, yeah, look towards us. Yeah. I was like, count, 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 here you go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brand new battery. <laughs> brand new battery. Basically brand new. Rush. Five. David Butterfield's just got a good look for a sleazy car salesman, right? Like very good actor too, by the way. David Butterfield is 
one of our more interesting students in the fact that he is actually uh, an engineer and got into filmmaking late in life and total success has won tons of uh, uh, film festival awards on films he makes he pretty much uh, is producing stuff all the time recommend uh, if you get a chance to work with him uh, to do so Figuring out some other shots. Like shooting this. down. Shooting. That's not low angle. That, so that's. Sorry, high, high, high angle, low on Kate's shadow, just standing. Okay, so this is gonna be MOS. Um, MOS, of course, is meet so out sound. No sound. Not gonna use right. audio. So we're not seeing his shadow. It's just her shadow. You wanna have heat in it or anything, or just the shadow? Just shadow. And you want her to approach? Yeah, let's have her approach. Do you like the car shot right there? Oh, you can see Krantz clearing uh, the set of debris. Okay, roll camera. Just shooting a shot of the shadow. I want it to be really like parallel. Shadow nose. our faithful audio operator. You can see empty parking lot at Gap. This is the lower lot, of course, near Gekka. I'm guessing we picked it because of that container. It's a good backdrop. That's why the cool thing. What's the shot number? Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. 
getting some insert shots. We we know what the story okay. is here, but there is audio for this. Okay. She says her lines down here. Yeah, we did. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's roll audio. Camera. One dash four, take one, mark. Action. Sure? Yep. Cut. We got it. Okay, that's all I needed. See this? Is that it? Or is there. See, you see that? You see that? Wow. See that? Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go leave. I don't want to hear that. I could frame out. Um, <coughs> frame it out. It's, it's pretty low. Um, Seeing not quite as cold of day, but of course it's always good to think about your environment when you're on set, especially outside. Do you need sunscreen? Do you, sunscreen's a huge factor in in shoots like these because That's you'll get sunburned. Is that, is your actors are standing? limited in what they can wear, yeah, but you can see like okay. Grant is using yeah, that so, as a sunshade yeah. to actually help see the monitor better and, and the camera. I Sometimes know, there's light leaks, you, but uh, uh, pull the pack out of your pocket like more. Oh. You can see Grant's using that uh, sunshade as a, a exactly that kind of a shade on his back. Uh, she pulling the cigarette. Kind of help protect from the yeah. wind as well. So, ready? Actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, we need to get a close-up of um, uh, swiping the aviators. That's an important shot. Yep. Number. Okay, yeah, the aviators give reflection. You got to deal with uh, that type of stuff. Reflections are a huge factor. As long as you see her, like, take something. That a little better. I, that's better, yeah. They have to do the angles to figure out. These are what are called inserts, so they're doing insert shots, which are close-ups of little elements 
um, you can help like accent something specifically, like uh, the sunglasses. Definitely want to like make sure okay, your camera. inserts make sense. I think it's fun to get some of these Action. elements like close-ups that just you can cut to in between dialogue and showcase like hey the money going into the hand she stole Reset. the glasses from more? his pocket really Years in art school days, right here. Look at this. It's like, what? Six years in art school? Yeah, right here. <laughs> Six years in art school. Oh, in art school. In art school, yeah. What do you mean? Oh, Coley made an Among Us. <laughs> Where's my cash back? I'm a super duper senior. Yeah. Super duper senior. That's just one That's what six years gets you. You have sunscreen on? Me? No. I am. Six years in art school. Whoa, yeah, a dead Among Us character What's now. Oh. I'm, so, I'm so nice, I'll do it you twice. Tim? It? Yeah, it's 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 now we're getting inside the car. Get that shot. A lens swap. Uh, let's do. Uh, I think it was the last season that the show was already five. Had, had all the screen plays. Twenty-five. But the we had the wrote thirty-five. To me and said they really liked them. Thought they were really good. And, um, so I thought, hey, I can do that. And then I took some communication classes, and instead of writing research papers, I made documentaries, and I loved it. So then I just started. Grant's telling how he got into filmmaking. Grant started as an English teacher and then fell in love with filmmaking. And uh, just kind of two. The first part was how. Uh, Rope, hold the button. Got it. Did a lens swap so they could get a better angle. Sleep at all? 
biggest man in the world. <laughs> That's how it always happens. The second you need something to happen, we don't want any cars, but yes. That's the joy of shooting outside. The second uh, you get set up, then a plane flies over. Fun stuff. Whoa. Whoa. I have made fire. Oh, that's a crutch. Dude, you can't... I can't light it for more than 30 seconds. Pretty cool, interesting, uh, you know, vehicle shot. They'll have the car drive by. Okay. Um, at the stop sign, can you? Uh, wait, I can't see it. She's like right oh, okay. Um, speed. Okay. It's clear. Go ahead. <laughs> now there's another car, of course. It's fun. You gotta drive the car back and forth a couple times, get different angles. This is the shot I think we're gonna use. Right? Right. Okay, can you turn around and come back? Yeah, I'm at the light. She she's got her on the phone, talking to her actor. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, behind the scenes of Southern Bliss. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We all look forward to seeing the completed piece. Um, if you haven't been able to get on set yet, do your best. Come out, uh, join us. It's, it's a blast. All right, check you next time. Make sure if you had, there's extra credit opportunity to write me, Tim specifically, message me with the answer. set up on the side of the road, she pulls over, she gets out, she throws up, and then I want to do the ladder shot. So it's three shots, and then we're done. Okay, what's the driving shot? It's, how is that different than what you already did? Um, the, 
it's a different area of road I want to film down there okay. and just um, and is there MOS and it's and it's she it's not a driving shot it's actually she just she pulls off of the road and parks and gets out okay is it MOS I want to get I'll, I'll, I'll mix okay so we got to make sure that we have enough power for that Here for it, dude. Damn, now you're. Do you want anything to drink? 